Hi, this is Tamara from mooglyblog.com, and in this video, I'd like to show you the chainless starting double crochet. Now, here I have a swatch of six rows of double crochet. The first three rows I worked starting each row with a chain three, which is a pretty standard way of starting a row of double crochet. However, it also has that standard gap, unfortunately, and that can be pretty unsightly, and it's pretty obvious that this is a chain three and not a double crochet. The last three rows I worked starting with the chainless starting double crochet, which is seen right here, here, and here. And if you look very closely, you can tell the difference, but at a glance, they certainly blend in a lot better than a chain three. So let me show you how it's done. To make the chainless starting double crochet, I'm going to turn my work to start a new row. And then rather than chaining, I'm going to pull up that loop that's on the hook to about the height of a double crochet. Now, if this is your first row, you'll need to eyeball it and kind of fudge it a little bit and give it a, give it a, maybe a couple tries. When you have worked previous rows, you can glance at those. If anything, though, you want to make it just a little bit shorter than the other double crochets. You want this to be worked kind of tightly. Um, if it gets too loose, it can look a little sloppy. So we've pulled up our stretched loop there. I'm going to put the finger of the hand holding the crochet hook, my first finger here, right over the top of that loop to make sure it can't move, that it won't slide around on the hook. Then I am going to use my other hand to keep the tension on the yarn steady so it doesn't grow at all. And I'm going to wrap the hook over and under that stretched loop there so that it's wrapped around the hook. So it looks like I have two loops on the hook. This is all that stretched loop. Let's do it one more time. I'm holding my finger on the top of the loop there and I'm going to wrap the rest of that loop around the hook. This is why it's so important to hold onto that top of that loop. As you can see, the hook is right down at the base of the previous row. You don't want a lot of wiggle room here. I'm going to yarn over with the working yarn pull it behind that wrap. So now we've got two loops on the hook. Yarn over again and pull through those last two loops. Make sure you keep the tension here. You don't want the loop to suddenly pull loose. Okay. And there you have a chainless starting double crochet. So from here, because that counts as the first double crochet of the row, you won't want to work into that first stitch. Otherwise your project will get wider and wider and wider. Unless, of course, that's what you're going for. If it's a something worked in a triangle, you may want to work in that first stitch. But for working straight rows, you'll start your double crocheting in the next stitch of the row. Ah, there we go. So I'll work a couple of double crochets here. And then I will turn and show you another standing, excuse me, chainless starting double crochet. And that brings up a good point. Don't get this confused with the standing double crochet. That's what you use when you want to join in with a new color. This is the chainless starting double crochet, which is what you're going to use when you're using the same yarn, the same color, or the same skein, I should say, to start your next row. So I've come to the end of the row, and it's time to work in the top of a chainless starting double crochet. And you're gonna treat it just like you would a normal double crochet. Find the two Vs there at the top, or rather the one V, the two loops, and go under both loops just as you normally would with a double crochet. Just like double crochets at the end of the row, sometimes that can be a little tough, but you just have to find those loops and get under there. There we go, all right. So we work our last double crochet of the round, or of the row, excuse me. Okay, so rather than chaining, again, I'm going to turn to make our next chainless starting double crochet, pull up a loop, put the finger on top, keep the tension with the other hand, wrap it around the loop, yarn over, pull under the loop, yarn over, and pull through the two loops. Okay, another chainless starting double crochet made. Let me make a couple more double crochets here. Then I'm gonna turn and I wanna show you something that you can do with this chainless starting double crochet that I use in one of my upcoming patterns. I won't work all the way to the end of the row here. I just wanna give us a little room to work. Okay, let's say that's where we stop. So we're gonna turn our work and come back the other way. 
Now here I want to show you how to do a chainless starting double crochet when the first two stitches are supposed to be worked as a double crochet two together. You're going to go ahead and pull up that loop to the height of a double crochet or just a little shorter and start just as you did before. Finger on top to hold it secure, tension with the left hand to keep it secure too. Wrap your hook under and around, yarn over, pull under that first loop there. Now because it's a double crochet two together, you're going to yarn over again, go into the next stitch of the row, insert your hook, pull up a loop, and notice I've been keeping tension on that first loop there, that stretched loop with my finger the whole time. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops, and then at this point we're ready to finish off our double crochet two together by yarning over and pulling through all three loops. Oops. There we go. And that's a double crochet two together with a chainless starting double crochet. So as you can see, this can be a really handy technique and it gives you a really nice finished straight edge. And that's all there is to the chainless starting double crochet. Thanks for watching.